gut-wrenching story out of Iowa where a mother is accused of slashing both her son's throats and leaving them to die. You can believe that one. Our Prime News correspondent, uh, Brooke Baldwin, joins us now in for Rochelle Carey. All right, what are the uh, details here? Yeah, this is a gory scene, and just think about what the seven-year-old must have seen and heard here, Mike. Police found two-year-old Seth Kehoe dead near the family's van. His seven-year-old brother, Sean, survived. Right now, he is back home with his father. Now, the boy... This is awful. The boy described to police how his mother covered his eyes with duct tape, ears and mouth as well before slitting his throat and then hearing the attack on his baby brother. His mother, 35 year old Michelle Kehoe, is being held on two and a half million dollars bond. Her arraignment is set for Wednesday. Now, here is what police say happened back on October 26. Kehoe apparently told her husband she was taking their sons to visit relatives. When they didn't arrive, he called police. The next day, the mother showed up at some stranger's doorstep claiming a man had abducted her and the children. That homeowner called 911 and sheriff's deputies found the van with the mom's help. Now, deputies also found a note inside that van detailing this supposed abduction, but it wasn't until police pressed her that Kehoe admitted buying the knife and duct tape months before this accident or incident, I should say. Uh, all right, now this family was in the headlines less than a year ago, is yeah, that right? This is sort of this odd twist here. They were less than a year ago. A Kehoe and her sons were pulled from their sinking car when it plunged into an icy uh, Iowa River back in December. And just three months ago, oddly enough, the governor of Iowa honored the four men who rescued, rescued them. So that happens last December and now, now this. Yeah, exactly. I'm sure, you know, you look at this, you hear that, it's like, wait a minute. In hindsight, that river accident... I mean, was that the first tragedy that could have happened? I think a lot of people probably are still wondering, and I think police, though, are sort of saying, case closed, we may never know. Uh, police, they, they have no plans to reinvestigate that December incident.